Alright, hello everyone. So I'm going to explain here a bit of what we're going to be doing. So I am in the middle of grinding. You've probably seen I've uploaded a couple of videos on that before, but a fun fact, it's kind of miserable, honestly. So like, I was thinking to myself, can you get to Mount Silver from here? I'm going to try doing a couple, um, runs on Mount Silver. Like, I want to, I mean, by that, I mean, I want to try battling, uh, re uh, the final boss at the top of Mount Silver a couple times. I... I don't think I'm high enough level to beat him right now. I'm gonna try to, like, work out strategies in that, but right now, I'm just, like, want to not be here for the rest of my life, so... Yeah, I'm- so today, I'm just going to essentially get to him is today's mission. I'm not going to set myself up to challenge him properly or anything like that, but... Because, like, I want to be able to just, uh... Like, buy myself no commentary, just try a bunch of runs against him. And... I... Yeah, so I want to catalog the experience of, like, doing the... Doing the Mount Silver, as they say. So I'm today here, I'm just gonna go through Mount Silver. Get to the top. And then we can work on, like... Doing the final fight later on. Also, it's dark here, so uh, this is going to be fun. So yeah, a lot of this is just going to be navigating in the dark, so you guys probably won't even want to see that. Also, do I have my... Hmm, let's see, do I have a repel still active? I'm guessing no. Like, what level is there? Are the Pokemon here? Because um, I've been training in Mount Silver... I mean, I'm training a Cerulean Cave, which is a bonus area. Because, yeah, here the Pokemon won't be quite as high a level. Ursaring, that's... Yeah, there's a bunch of Pokemon that are exclusive to, like, this area. Which, I know they pace things the way they do like that, but it's... It is kind of lame. Right, there we go. So that's the first level here. I'm gonna... I gotta figure out where we need to go here. But yeah, I just want to catalog like this whole thing too. This is why I'm recording for all this. I'm probably gonna navigate myself here again through this a few times, but... Maybe I'll even just like do a play through just a practice one to show you like a failed attempt to get a rough idea of like what he's gonna have. Like I don't have any items in that. Although I kinda don't wanna waste I'll save beforehand and then we'll just reset time before it happens. Yeah, because then we go up here, and here we are, there he is. I will save my game here. And I will fight him, and I will almost certainly lose, and then I will... Oh, uh, are you kidding me? And then I will kind of work on strategies in my own. And you guys don't have to worry about any of that. That being said, one sec, the audio is going to glitch here, but what does he have? Because I, um, I did do a bit of prep work for this. Not enough, but like, to get a rough idea of what he has here. 
I think, just for the sake of like this exhibition fight you call it, let's put, I think that's right. And then we fight, mm. and this isn't part of the mod, they just made all this Pokemon like weirdly high level to be like a challenging fight, which is certainly a choice. They're not all quite this high, but like even with an advantage, <clears throat> how much can I do here? Does Earthquake rely on my own physical attack? Let's find out. Is that a crit? There's a crit. My mom is dying in the background. Okay. If he's going to need a floor story, does he have a limited pool? Because it might be worth um, stalling him out here. And like wasting those on him. At the same time, we'll use a surf here if he uses another one. Just to like get him down, but not in that range, you know? Hopefully this will do like a quarter or something. Oh, my Pokemon are stronger than I thought they'd be, honestly. Maybe I'll just win here. Like, I don't think I will, but... This went a lot better than I pr predicted it to go. It's not a lot of experience for the level gap. Venusaur, obviously this is gonna be easy. It's gonna use Sunny Day, I'm pretty sure, too. Like. It's so weird having like a sunny day team set up on like a grass type. Like I mean, go ahead, this will probably one shot. He's gonna switch into Espeon. Well hopefully this does a fair bit. It did not. Hopefully he uses a psychic attack. The switch was good though, that did legitimately caught, catch me off guard. Although we didn't go into Blastoise, which is kind of weird, but... Yeah, I got my type. Enchantress, how much is this going to do though? This might... Not very much, okay. 27? We don't have speed, which is... Going to be a problem, although this thing... I think it all has psychic type attacks, except for Swift for coverage, so like I don't think he can do anything else to us aside from Swift. And he's not gonna use another full restore, which is pretty good. Yeah, this is going a lot smoother than I thought it would so far. I mean there's still plenty of chances for me to die horribly, but you know. Snorlax, this is going to be a problem here. Uh, I think we might have to dodge tank this, because this is going to be beefy and it's going to it knows a lot of recovery. So I think here the idea we just uh, set up with smoke screens to like minus six accuracy and then pray. I don't use his special defense. That's well it's not fine, but what else are you gonna do about it, right? That's not good. Oh, that's very not good. What do I have in here for that? I do have revives. Do I have a full restore? I, you know what, I'm just, you know, this probably isn't going to be canon, I'll probably have to do a few attempts, so let's just use it, you know? I need both status and HP recovered. That's not, still not good, but... Hopefully you don't, if you don't get the para, we get the para again, of course. Because we just need our, um... We already have, what, two accuracy drops? We just need that to proc here, and then we shouldn't... There we go. 
And then we can kind of snowball that to get it down to minus six, hopefully. You can tell how much I lean into uh, dodge tanking. It's kind of a good indicator for how scared I am. You know what? I have so many potions, I may as well just use them up. I can... that's the thing, I can just stall it that way. Maybe. If he crits, I'm gonna be... I do have, um... Revives, and also if he just uses up all of his body slams too, I don't know what the, um... PP on a move like that is. I probably should have checked that out first. Sure has good accuracy for being at minus three. Uh, I know it's not as bad as it was in uh, Gen One. The accuracy, how like they nerfed accuracy, which is probably for the best, all things considered, but. This here has 15 PP base. I don't know if he'll have like that extended at all or not. Is that the right term? But yeah, this is gonna be this portion of the fight. <laughs> I'm not even hurting it because I'm like afraid. If I knew I could get a burn, that would be good, but yeah, I am risking a crit here. I but it's hitting like if I do another move, it's just gonna Man. Like, what are we at? We're at minus four. I'd risk it if we were at minus five, but right now... Like, that way whoever's in next can set up and try to do stuff. But right now, we just need these to happen. Please. There we go. I can't, no, I can't really risk it, because he does outspeed. So this is just the game we're playing at this point. Wow, good thing he's minus five accuracy. The moment he gets a crit, I'm going to have to do things as you do. All right, beautiful. If we can get one more off. There we go, minus six accuracy. We'll have to see it. Now let's see what kind of damage we can do. Let's see if we've been wasting a lot of time here. Because the moment he gets under half, he's probably gonna um, rest. Yeah, you see, that's the problem right there. We, I might actually want to use Balemsia here, because at this point we're kind of just stalling out. Okay. Okay, with this, when he's asleep, I think we use Tell Nest actually. And fly just to like even get the chance of him doing anything even lower, because he's gonna snore here, right? And it missed. We could use Confusion, actually, to try to get... Because we're just kind of stalling this thing out, because I don't think we'll be able to hurt it fast enough. Oh, that's bad. I should have... I should have flown. Okay, that's not actually too bad for damage, though, like... A whole 82. Like, you literally just keep flying until it's out of... Like, how, how many PP does Snore have? This is gonna be the boring part of the fight. This is both the most dangerous and the least interesting part of the fight, which is a good combo. Snore only has 15 PP. Yeah. 
How about rest? It only has five. He only has five rests, so... I think we just keep flying and just, like, waste its time, you know? Wasting my time more like it, honestly. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, sorry, the audio is going to glitch in a couple places, because whenever I go to, like, open my notes here, it's going to interrupt the stream. Is this the fourth, uh, rest? Yeah, because it only it has... Is it out of body slams? It has amnesia, snore rest, and body slam. Like, we've seen all of them. And, like... When it runs out of um, rest, snore won't do anything. That's fine. I think this should be its last run, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gonna snore. Nice try, buddy, buckaroo. Alright. Yeah, you see that minus six um accuracy, now it's paying off. Hopefully this is its last rest. I did not count, but I mean it's gotta be at this point, right? Yeah, I don't have enough damage output to, like, actually hurt this thing, like I've said multiple times before. Okay, that's scary. Don't die, please. You know what, I'll go ahead and, uh, Hyper Potion back up. <laughs> Good thing I bought, like, a million of these. And hopefully I'll mess its snore here. Or, I guess, as long as it doesn't crit, because it does under half. Yeah. Okay, we're all good here. Woke up. Oh yeah, it's just using Amnesia now. So now I think the strat is to... Oh, does it... Hmm, okay, well... Because it kind of doesn't matter how much damage you do at this point if it runs out, if he just has more rests and snores. We literally just, we can't do anything until he runs out, so we're just going to keep flying and... Uh, th you, you probably skipped ahead at this point to like, when this stops. I might put a timestamp in the video just to like... Does he have infinite PP? Like how much, I know you can extend the PP of moves. I've thought I've seen Pokemon struggle before. It says it max 8. So maybe he has like all of his moves fully extended and has 8 snores. Cause I'm about to run out of flies pretty soon. But good thing he like rests immediately when he wakes up. Hmm. Yeah, he snore. Oh wait, he he's out of snores at least. We still need to stall out all of his um rests which hopefully are not infinite. Okay, what else can I- I don't wanna- maybe shouldn't be using flies at this point to stall- I'll use reflect to set up. Is there anyone who can buff themselves at this point though is the thing. Like if we just look through my team, 
Rain Dance might be an idea. I mean... We've got rid of Pikachu, right? Quagsire otherwise would be useful for Charizard. I think we use Balemsia and we aim for a freeze, hopefully, because that a freeze. Oh, is he out as Snores, actually? I'll still go for a freeze just for fun, because I think that will help us anyways. Yeah, oh. No, no, the idea here, my idea here. We use Telnest. And we can fuse it. That way it can help us take it out. Yeah, there we go. Now we can use Confusion, because he's clearly out of rests, which is good. It'll take like all 25 rests to take this thing out at this point. But I mean, I think there's a 10% chance of confusing it with Confusion. Which we're never gonna get because of... Oh, here we go. Finally. Now we want the chance to confuse him again if um, he breaks out of this one, so we will reflect just to uh, like stall out a turn, basically. He's very lucky, I will say. I'm gonna fly just because it stalls out for longer, too. There we go. Yeah, that does a fair bit, actually. We miss our fly. Okay, yeah, I think Telnest here is going to be the key player. Confusion's worn off, so we can go back to... Confusing until we proc another one, or we just happen to chip him down to death. Or we're just here forever. That could happen too. And <laughs> I got 25 of them, so at the very least. You might be able to get the struggle range. Hmm. Ooh, crit, that's pretty, pretty lucky for us here. Yeah, this is gonna be like an hour long fight and we're gonna lose at the end. That's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, I would have, if I knew I like had a quote unquote chance at this fight, I would have bought more resources than that. We might just chip him down to nothing. Do I have a paralysis heal? Because at this point I should be. That would be a good time to be doing something like that here. Leftovers, max revive, escape rope. I don't. I we may have to let Kenneth uh just try to play through the paralysis and on the off chance it's already confused, what am I doing? On the off chance Kenneth um does die, we just send in someone else as a pivot and revive him. I'm gonna reflect. I might just use all our all of our reflects while we're stalling up here. All right, good. Yeah, we'll intentionally just burn through these. Oh, it's struggling. All right, it's gonna miss. But at this point, having confusion is still good because. Then it can do more of the work for us. But yeah, it's out of moves.
we can just... Alright, well... This is getting real ugly. I think at this point we should potion up again, because I'm probably going to need Telnus as a pivot in the future. Or maybe that- I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe that didn't matter. It doesn't struggle do more every time. Yeah, like a weirdly low amount of experience for everyone, and then what's next? Blastoise. Okay, Blastoise is a rain dancer. This should be pretty straightforward, hopefully. Meep traditionally was like the our strongest hitter. Hopefully just a thunder punch. Rain dance won't matter in this as long as you don't get hit with anything. Oh, I don't think it's gonna... It doesn't even... Okay, that is very lucky, though. Hopefully we don't get hit or survive. We have speed, too. That's good. I can maybe just even send in someone with quick attack or something. That might kill. That probably will kill. Come on, buddy. I know Rain Dance is up, but... There we go. You love to see it. We're not gonna even risk anything. That's good. Venusaur, we will use Typhlosion. We may have problems here. With our, um... Paralysis here, but hopefully he actually- we really want him to use Sunny Day here. That's not good. Rain Dance is up, so we're gonna have a problem with that. We're gonna take a lot of damage here. Hopefully we can burn this slow would be good, like even though we're not gonna be doing great on the type. Yeah. Or at this point, if this is the game we're going to be playing... I'm just going to do that, because like... Until the rain stops, we're going to be having problems. Also, if he's going to uh, do that, I might switch into Telnest here as a pivot. Need to just take this hit. Sorry, buddy. You're going to... <laughs> oh, that didn't do very much. While you're out here, though, I am going to uh, heal up Meep. Alrighty. Yeah, then hopefully... Sorry, telling us. Hopefully you take... Okay. That's good. That's really good, actually. No, it's not. I was going to say, because it's easy to punish with, um fly, but it won't be. I just did that for fun as a joke, and it worked really well. So we'll switch back into Kenneth here. Now that we're not in the rain, hopefully we can do something there. Alright, good. This will do, I think, only twice as much now Rain's not active. We'll probably need a couple hits to take it out, because all his Pokemon are way higher level than mine. But with that sleep, I mean, we can... Ugh, yeah, scary, scary. Everything here is scary and bad. But... I always overestimate other trainers, like I did some damage calcs and that all seems good, like perfect stats, so it ends up like there's no chance on the calculator. Charizard. Back my main man. Yeah, 
Charizard in a sunny day? It does not. We will rain dance immediately, just for the sake of it. How much does this do? 72, not much. It's gonna be 36 after this, too, is the fun part, so. Let's see how much this does. Okay, bring attack. Okay, we will need the potion if this doesn't KO. But I mean, Rain Dance type advantage, Quagsire. Come on. No, I don't think that it. Not quite. But still. Potion up, Rain Dance is still up, so I don't think he'll be able to do anything more than anything too bad. Yeah, 59 on that. Surf, and I believe we win here, because even if this KO, even, even if this crits, it shouldn't KO. Surf, that was a lot easier of a fight than I thought it was going to be, I'm going to be honest. Like, I kind of hyped it up. This whole video is this big, like, scary, epic thing. I'm gonna close my notepad so it'll glitch. Yeah, audio's gonna glitch. Yeah, well, we just beat the game again a second time, I guess. I didn't think I was gonna do it, so I didn't take this video seriously, but... Yeah. Alright, well, that's Pokemon Crystal. So that is technically... And this should be the end of Pokemon Crystal. Like, we've beaten it twice now. We've, um... And now we've got all the legendaries. We've covered all of the game events that... I, um... Think there is to do. So that should be everything. But I have saved... One more extra thing for... After, which we're going to be doing... Tomorrow, probably. And after that, I'm gonna be taking another, like, we're gonna be doing another in between video between Crystal and Emerald as their next Pokemon game. But as I said before, as we did between uh, Yellow and Crystal, I don't wanna go directly from one mainline Pokemon game into another. And so I'm, we're gonna be. I don't actually even know what games that we're going to be playing, which is scary because, like, that's... Tomorrow we're doing our bonus video, and then after that... Uh, yeah, we're moving on. I, so, I think... The game that sticks in my mind mostly is the game we're going to be doing. I'm pretty sure I have a copy of Milk Outside of a Bag of Milk Outside of a Bag of Milk. I did Milk Inside of a Bag of Milk Inside of a Bag of Milk as a one-off a while ago. Yeah, that's pretty good, so I would very much be interested in doing the sequel. I don't know if that'll be, like, enough as an in-between video, because in-between before, didn't we do Scar the Doll? And that took, like, 50 episodes or something, but... Yeah, I... I didn't really... Like, I know you're supposed to do, like... Structurally, it's good to do, like, a speech at any of these. I didn't have one set up, because I didn't think I was going to win today. And then I won today, so yeah. Scar the Doll was 26 episodes. I think that was a bit excessive. Like, ideally, I'd want it to be like 7 or 14, like take a week or two off Pokemon. And then, but yeah, everyone's healed up. We are. Yeah, we beat Crystal. We're done playing the game, I guess. I don't know if the game even, like, acknowledges that at all, like, with the first win, it unlocks the second half of the game, basically. Here, like, yeah, we've won. Now what? You know? Yeah, next time, bonus content. Look forward to what that is.